Hey everybody, are you looking for a vlogging camera? Well, stick around for today's review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Raf's Reviews. I am Raf, and on this channel we say don't spend your hard-earned money on something that may not fit your needs. Let me try it out for you first, help you decide whether or not something that you want to buy. Now today's review is not sponsored. I purchased this product on my own and wanted to give you my thoughts. Now some of you know I recently had all my gear stolen and had to start over. Well, to save some money, I had bought an older used camera, the Sony a7R 3 That's what I've been recording on recently. Previously, I had the Sony a7 IV, and that was a great hybrid camera, take great pictures and videos. Uh, but the R series cameras are designed to be great at photos and just good at videos. Now, although the video quality has been fine, you can see in some of my latest videos, I've been kind of fighting the autofocus during the reviews. So I started looking for a new camera just for vids. And that brought me to the Sony ZV-E1. This is a full frame camera that accepts the same types of lenses on my current camera so there's no need to get any additional lenses. Let's go ahead and see what we get in the box. So first we get the camera itself. Uh, it comes in white and black. You get a battery and the deck strap. So what I'll do during this is we'll kind of take a look at the camera itself and then I will record some stuff with both the A7R 3 and the ZV-E1 using the same 35 millimeter lens so that way it can help decide for yourself which one that you like. So first we'll take a look at the weight. So the weight for the ZV-R1, or the ZV-E1, excuse me, comes in at one pound and one ounce. So when we look at the camera, uh, looking at the front, of course you get where your lens will go at the top of the camera. And you're starting to see why I had to look. Uh, you have a simple mode select switch, your menu button, your record, some memory buttons, and a product focus. We'll talk more about that later. It does have a hot shoe mount. It does have a hot shoe mount at the top. Uh, looking around to the side. There we go. We've got our charging port. Okay, so up close is not working out very well trying to show this while I'm talking at the same time. And again, we'll talk about uh, why we were looking for a new camera. So uh, we just stand back here looking at the side. We have a audio out or excuse me, a microphone in, a USB-C. You have your SD cord storage slot. And down at the base, we have uh, HDMI micro and then a headphone out jack for monitoring. Uh, on the back, so this flip screen will come out and fully articulate. And then your normal type of buttons that you would have on the back of any Sony camera. So just to go over some of the uh, specs of the ZV-E1, and I'll put the A7R3s next to it as, as it's coming up. So like I said, they're both an E-mount lens. Uh, the sensor for pictures on the ZV-E1 is 12.9 meg megapixels megapixels. The ISO sensitivity goes from 80 to 102,400, 12 frames per second, and we'll record in 4.2.0 10-bit, 4.2.2 10-bit, 422 8-bit, 8-bit, XABCS 10-bit. Now the ZV-E1 only has one memory card slot. They take the same type of battery and that's the NP-FZ100. And that's really going to be like the big differences. Uh, the A7R 3 having those large amount of megapixels when it's taking photos and the ZV-E1 having a lower megapixel count for its photos. Uh, but like I said, it's the video that I was concerned with. Uh, you saw previously while I was trying to autofocus, but we'll go through some t testing on that. So first, first we're going to just go ahead and take a look at the lighting. It's in the middle of the day. I'm in my garage. There's just the overhead lights of the garage. This is the difference in the picture quality. Now with this, I will say uh, I am not going to color grade anything. You're just going to get it straight out of the camera. Okay, so as before, let me go ahead and turn off the additional light that I use while I'm recording. Okay, so here is the light. Again, we're in the middle of the day in garage, just the overhead lights. So this will be the difference in the picture quality between the two. So autofocus usually is trying to focus on subjects' faces and eyes. That's why when you see people uh, putting products up, they'll hold their hand behind it. So that way the focus will change that. Because you'll see if my face is in screen, 
and I put a product up, you won't see both. So with the A7R3, when you're showing a product, you know, if, if I'm close and I'm showing a product, you're not going to see it until it doesn't see my face anymore. And that's how it uh, locks in that focus. But now, most importantly, let's test this product showcase. So let me go ahead and change that. Okay, so now the way that this is supposed to work is I should be able to hold something up and it shifts focus to that product instead of myself. Get a little bit closer to where I can see here. So as I'm talking to the camera, I should be able to hold up a product and it shift focus to that product and stop focusing on me. Put it down, it should focus back on me and the product and myself. So as you see, I don't have to put my hand up behind it for it to pick up focus on the product. So that was, that was the big thing. I wanted to be able to show something without doing this. And as you saw when we were showing the side of the A7, or excuse me, the ZV-E1, it was having a hard time finding focus. And lastly, let's go ahead and listen to the internal, the internal microphones of the camera. Um, so I'm standing approximately about four feet from the camera right now. So let me take off this external mic or power it down and we'll just hear the native. Okay, and now without the use of the external mic, this is the sound of the ZV-E1 without any audio connected, external audio connected to it. Uh, now there is stuff in front of the camera, so it might sound muted, uh, but hopefully you can tell a difference between the A7R and the ZV-E1. So with that being said, this will be the new camera that will be recording for all of our videos. So hopefully it continues to work out well. All right, so that's gonna do it. I know this was a super quick review. Just wanted to test out the two cameras against themselves so you can kind of see it. Hopefully this video quality is much better. I won't know, I'm not in front of the computer yet. Uh, but if you have any questions about the camera, please go ahead and drop that down in the description and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And of course, as usual, if there's anything that you wanna see reviewed on this channel, put that down in the comment section also. I'll reach out to the company, try to get my hands on it uh, and do a review for it. If there is something that you want reviewed, please put if there's anything specific that you want reviewed on it so that way I can ensure that I include that in the video. Other than that, that's going to do it. We'll see you next time. Bye.